Good morning. Good morning, everybody from Humanitas Castelli. Today, I will show you the subretinal implant of a human amniotic membrane for a refractory, refractory full thickness macular hole of 800 microns. So we did first the cataract surgery, I IOL implant, because in the previous surgery was done just the vitrectomy and island peeling. Then we are using also 27 chandelier twin light uh, in order to have uh, to better maneuver the flap inside. So we are just looking if the ILM was completely done in the previous surgery. And uh, what we want to do in case is just, as you can see here, I think we need to enlarge a bit. Okay, great. So why using uh, the human amniotic membrane? Because it first of all, it can work as a scaffold for horizontal gliosis and proliferation of glial cells, because probably can be uh, the key of the interaction of activated Mueller cells with peeling with the new basement tissue. At the same time, the implant can work as plug closing the communication between the visas subretinal space. So the aim is to fill uh, the macro hole with the flat flap, reducing also the shear retinal stress on the edges of macro hole induced by ocular uh, movements. Now what I'm doing, just uh, inducing a retinal detachment just around the edge of macro holes. Is a 27 soft tip needle with passive aspiration. So the human amniotic membrane can work as a scaffold or plaque, but we know that it is also rich in growth factors. So we have a monolayer of epithelium, a thick basement membrane, and uh, an avascular stroma. And the avascular stroma is adhesive, so we want to put you know, the stromal site on the retinal pigment epithelium, and we want to have uh, the monolayer epithelium of uh, amniotic membranes towards the narrow epithelium of the retina. So the aim is uh, to favor the interaction between amniotic membrane, retina structure, and retinal pigment epithelium. There are a few published data in the literature. Rizzo published one paper on retina, 2018. So now, as you can see, the stroma layer is adhesive just on the retina. And now we are trying to fit under the edges that was previously detached from the RP. As you can see, it's going well. So I was saying the Rizzo published first in Retina and then ACTA 2019, and uh, was for full thickness macula hole. And he, what he found, no inflammation in post-op and the fully stratified neuroretina on it after a few weeks. It's been also published few paper for repairing choroidal damage and patching retinal breaks. So now we are going to proceed with air fluid exchange. No gas tampon is necessary. We are also working in the lab on the effect of human amniotic membrane and other growth factor on proliferation, migration, trans differentiation on RP, Mueller cell, and photoreceptor cell lines. So we are completing the fluid air exchange now. And that's it. Thank you very much. See you next time. Thank you.